Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to mesh particles in Blender using the CubeSurf add-on by PyroEvil. Let's get started. Step 1. Download the CubeSurf add-on. You can get the link in the video description. Just follow the link and download the right uh, add-on file for your operating system. And follow the instructions to install it as well on the same page. You can also click on the next link and follow the work in progress thread by PyroEvil on the Blender Artists forum. Step 2. Open Blender and set up the scene. Make sure you've got the CubeSurf add-on installed and enabled. You can do that by going into the Blender User Preferences window through the File menu. Now go ahead and set up your scene. You want to set up a, a particle system, any kind of particle system will work. And here you can just add some basic force fields to give the particles an interesting movement. It's much more interesting than just the particles dropping to the floor. Next step is to add an ISO surface. Now this is what the CubeSurf is uh, add-on is all about. Add the ISO surface and make sure you've got the right object and particle system selected. And you can see the little uh, object, uh, you can see what the CubeSurf add-on is doing. It's creating a mesh using the particle system. This is what we want and this is a feature which Blender has, uh, hasn't had for a long time. And the problem that comes up here is that the particles are a bit too small, so you adjust the particle size a bit, and you can see what happens when you play with the particle size multiplier. And this is the kind of result that we want. So basically just adjust these values, so adjust the voxel size, reduce the value of voxel size if you want a higher resolution, but with that comes a longer, a greater computational time and increase the particle size multiplier if you want the particles to be larger. This saves you the hassle of rebaking your particle system with a, diff uh, with a different size particle and it's also much simpler to control. So now you can see that the, uh, the mesh that's created is a bit too rough so we can just use a smooth modifier to smooth ev everything out. This also has the computational time so it's best to probably leave this um, disabled while working with the scene. Step 3 is to save the file, set up the HDR and render. You can see that with the addition of a HDR, tweaking the color management settings a bit and depth of field, you can get quite a good result. Now the cool thing with the CubeSurf add-on is that it works with any kind of particle system. And if it's going a bit too slow you can just disable it with the settings and play through your animation. You can see that here I've used a fluid particle simulation. Over here these are just normal particles with a turbulent uh, force field and a wind force field and you can see the cool effect that it gives. And here it is rendered with some depth of field and some cool effects. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and also check out Pyro Evil's channel, he's got some great work. See you next time.